Welcome and thank you for being here today. The video du jour is about my journey with Keikis throughout the past years. And since I've been filming on this channel, documenting my journey, I wanted to do a little recap. And I have broken down the different methods I have been using in order to see what works best to cultivate keikis, get them to grow on. And I'm using as an example my Dendrobium of Phyllum, seeing as that has been the most generous. This year in 2021, there are other Dendrobiums and other orchids like Phalaenopsis that will produce keiki, but not in the quantity that the Phyllum did this year. So it was easier for me to experiment different methods of growing them on harvesting by using Dendrobium of Phyllum as an example. Everything I am talking about today can also be done with any other keiki. Dendrobium bariota, for example, or if you get one off of an anosmum, or even a phalaenopsis keiki. It's just they're not as abundant. So what I've done is broken down my keiki journey in two different categories one of which is what to do with a keiki while it is still on a cane or on the mother plant. And the second category would be the harvesting process as well. So I've classified those separately. I've given each of the classifications a name. When it comes to the keikis and cultivating them while they're still on the mother plant, I have two categories. One is classical and one is classical deluxe. So I'm going to start with the classical. The classical method, of course, is you see a keiki starting on a mother cane and for all the good reasons, it is there and it makes you happy. And I'm discussing this subject today because it makes us happy to get keikis and multiply our plants. I'm not discussing keikis because an orchid is in stress mode. That just being a quick disclaimer. The classical thing of a keiki on a mother plant is to let it grow, let it develop some roots, and then just pinch it off the mother plant and then either pot it up or mount it. Then I have a classical deluxe version. That is, you see keikis growing on your orchid and you're like, yay, I've got keikis. And then to cultivate those keikis while they were still on the orchid, cultivating root growth, giving the keikis seaweed and calcium and magnesium, giving it the deluxe treatment while it is still on the mother plant prior to removing it and potting it up and mounting it. So those are the two methods I have been working with in the year of 2020 and 21. The classical, just let the keiki do what it wants and then remove it. And the classical deluxe, give it lots of nutrition while still on the mother plant. So it has the double effect of growing strong and being vigorous once it is removed. And now I'm going to move on to the harvesting part of the keikis. I have three categories there. I have the classical harvesting, I have classical deluxe harvesting, and I have classical deluxe plus harvesting. So right now I'm going to show you the three different results having applied all three different methods throughout the season. And let's have a look-see at which keikis have performed the best. And then you can decide whether you would like to use either one of them. Or if you have another version, please leave that in the comments below. And let's all see if we can apply that and get our keikis to grow on strong, either to bulk up our mother plant or to give away. This little mount in front of you, Dendrobium aphyllum keikis, they took care of themselves on the mother plant. I applied the classical method. Just let the keikis do their thing on the mother plant before removing. Once the roots were long enough, then remove, and I chose to mount mine on an inorganic mount. These are keikis from 2020, and they have been on this mount for over a year now. So let me show you what happens when you just let the keikis do their own thing and let them then grow on. Over a year and a half, this is the oldest keiki mount that I've got in my collection. I did not interfere. I did not apply classical deluxe treatment to these keikis. And they've grown on. The little keikis have also developed their own little growths. So I have now two canes on every keiki that I put on this mount. And the roots, well, these are the roots of 2021 because the 2020 roots clearly are the ones that you see more on the surface here. And I had great roots, I thought. But anyway, they're alive, and you can see that 
the keiki with its base, there's not much difference yet with regards to the size of the canes that they formed and whether they'll bloom or not is another subject matter altogether. We can do an update in spring, but this mount is doing very well considering it has only had the classical keiki treatment. Growing on the mount, harvesting when roots are long and mounting, and that's it. These keikis in 2021 I actually made sure to really cultivate them while they were still on the mother plant, let them get seaweed, calcium, and magnesium, and really, really watered the base of the keiki prior to it growing roots and continued that treatment all the way throughout while the roots were growing. And the results were impressive in my opinion. You can see that the length of my keikis has now extended considerably in comparison to the ones from 2020 that have their own basal growth. But my goodness, this was a keiki of 2021, cultivating it while it was still on the mother plant. Granted, it has grown since I mounted it, but the potential is so much more obvious that they are much longer and healthier than what I did the classical way. So these were all cultivated and all the roots were babied while they were still on the mother plant prior to harvesting. And then on the removal process, this is my category classic. And you just pinch the keiki off and then with the roots, you amount it onto the mount. There is no supporting structure. It is just the keiki and the roots and then you cultivate it from there on in. Classic Deluxe cut off a bit of the cane off the mother plant so as to support the keikis while they're also still producing roots and while they're growing, and yet they still have a storage organ attached to them that they're not depending straight away on their roots all by themselves as with the neighbor right here. You can see that the results also, they've grown since I've done this, but you see the results and the length of this? This is also impressive. And the storage section has not even deteriorated. On top of that, it was much easier to mount with a little bit of a cane still attached. So I had the support of the extra storage of the cane to support the keikis, but I already had roots growing as well, taking advantage of everything that I can take from a keiki in order to make it progress and grow well. This storage organ also, in my opinion, has helped when taking off keikis prematurely. You see, that was a keiki developing in 2019. It grew its own little base there, still on the mother plant. That would be 2020. And here is 2021. It doesn't really look very, very productive. But in this case, I decided to take it off anyway. And I used the storage organ of part of the cane to help it along because I'm sure this little guy here would not have survived if I had just relied on its own roots and it still has nutrients in this cane. This cane has not dried out. So the different stages of harvesting and mounting, they're not necessarily dependent on how big or strong a keiki is while on the mother plant, but they add a real, real good support system even to smaller keikis. If I had removed this little trio as prematurely as I did without the supporting structure, these guys would have died. I still have hopes for this little cluster here, I have hopes for this one because it also still has a very, very chubby and lush cane attached to it that has not deteriorated. And then we have a combination of the classic deluxe approach while the keiki is still on the mother plant and the harvesting is just pinching the keiki off when the roots are long enough. And then Michael McCarthy brought it to my attention to submerge the roots straight away into water because keiki roots are difficult to get to hydrate seeing as they are so new. That is exactly what I did. So I'm gonna get those. And here they are. So this would be keiki removal classic deluxe plus because the classic deluxe was being treated on the mother plant and then straight away plus water which i put in a little contraption with an upside down bottle and there's always water in the bottom of the cup i have let them dry out occasionally but that was more by mistake than intentional and you can see that these guys have lived inside and look at them they're still green they have not gone into dormancy. 
That is probably because temperatures indoors are steady. Look at that root system. Now the roots themselves have extended a little bit beyond what they were when I first harvested these keikis, but not by much. But what is very astounding is that they are still green and they're looking great and I do not see any signs of dormancy. And I'm not going to force them into dormancy. I'm going to maintain their current climate with a lot of light and maintain their water resources at the base. When I put these into their water cups, the way I've done here, I applied calcium magnesium and seaweed as they were accustomed to what I was spraying them with while they were still on the mother plant. That is what they got in their cups and eventually they started to absorb the water. And then I started to switch out between plain RO water and the nutrient solution, but I didn't actually apply any fertilizer at this stage. I wanted them just to get accustomed to absorbing the water. So what am I trying to point out with all of this? Classic, classic deluxe, classic deluxe plus. Well, there's so many, many different ways of cultivating keikis, of getting them to grow on. But what I found very interesting is that my 2020 mount has not had the same progress as my 2021 monster mount that you see there, the length of the keikis is astounding even after having removed them from the mother plant. And this water submerging method upon harvesting the classic deluxe way, remember classic deluxe is, while the keikis are still on the mother plant, we are providing nutrients to the roots and getting them to develop and get more strong and more abundant. I have drawn some conclusions from all of this. Every single method works. There is no right or wrong, but the advantages of cultivating a keiki while it is still on a mother plant and applying nutrients to the aerial roots while it is still attached to the mother plant have made a massive, massive difference in the growth potential and the strength of the keikis. I have never seen anything like this in all of my years of growing Dendrobium aphyllum. Whether I attached a cane and left an old cane on the keiki as an additional storage organ or not. When the keiki was strong, it can do it all by itself. When the keiki is weak though, leaving a storage organ attached guarantees the survival of the keiki. Putting them into water certainly has its advantages. And I don't think that any of these are a failure, but the best method in my opinion is a combination of two. If you cannot mount your keiki straight away, but they have to come off, submerge them in water until such a time that you are ready and can mount them. If your keiki is weak, but it has to come off because of climate issues, or again, you don't have the time to wait until the keiki has matured enough for you to deal with it, cut off part of the cane and supply it with a storage organ. That is the only time I see that this has really, really helped in the survival of the smaller, tinier keikis. The big keikis, they would have rocked and rolled even if I had not had a storage organ, as we can see right here. So, for the coming 2022 season, I highly recommend that when you see a keiki growing on any of your orchids, that you mist the roots, continuously get them accustomed to water, whether they repel it or not, just keep at it. Eventually they will start absorbing the water. And also prior to any root growth, start cultivating the keiki at the base and keep watering there until root nubbins show and continue watering to cultivate those roots. The difference between not cultivating keikis while they are growing on a mount and doing what I did in 2021 the amount of roots that developed in 2021, I was blown away. So those are my two recommendations, water and using part of the cane where the keiki is still attached to, to mount your orchids. Those are my findings of 2021. It is my quick recap, well, I hope it was quick, my recap of my journey with my keikis this year. And I hope that this makes you excited for 2022 if you have any keikis coming that you might want to cultivate, grow on, remove, separate from the mother plant, pot or mount, that you know now how to get them to grow strong and healthy roots because that is what little baby orchids need. They need roots. And remember, a keiki, when it is removed from a mother plant, turns into a seedling 
which is a completely different care altogether. And if the winter rest allows it, like with my outdoor growing keikis, then by all means, let that happen. But if you've cultivated keikis indoors, they are babies. If they're not ready to go dormant, leave them be, let them do their thing. Eventually they'll grow up and do what they should be doing. Hope this was helpful. And I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of a recap of my keiki journey of 2021. Whoop. Tolumnia pomegranate, looking awesome. <laughs> Thank you so very, very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, if I sounded confusing, please address all that in the comments. I'd be happy to express myself a little clearer should that be necessary. Have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day on one condition, please that you stay safe and take care. Bye.